Hey you guys, it's your girl Jenna. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, what it do? Today we are going to do my kids' hair together. Wow, can I just say what a feat. Joelle's hair on the left is 4C and Julian's on the right is a 3C 4A. So first we start off with detangling the hair <laughs> and here's Joel so proud of himself because he took his hair out of the bobble. Joel's hair can be really dry and very tight on the head. It's very thick, very, very thick. So before I do any type of detangling or messing with the hair, I soak it up. This water bottle has water, conditioner, and a lot of olive oil. And I find that that helps to um, moisturize the hair and also to like loosen it a bit. So that it's easier to manage. I start off by separating the hair into little sections and detangling it um, section by section. And for some reason, as I was doing Joelle's hair here, I didn't really like how that brush was um, working with his hair. So I went in with the comb and I tried it again with the brush. And when I realized, you know what, this brush is not doing it for me, I had to get a Denman brush. I find that Denman brushes are better for 4C hair. I don't know, maybe that's a personal thing. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you prefer Denman brushes over those other brushes? I forget how those other brushes are called, but either way, I will link both of them in the description section below. So yeah, I detangle his hair and you know, you have to be quite patient. And I know here it shows me combing from the root. The reason being because they have these blonde bits on their hair. And so their ends are so hard and so difficult to work with. So what I do is I go in with the comb just to loosen out the roots a bit. And then I work my way that way. Um, I start from the tip and then work my way up. And what I do is I know, once I know that the, the roots are loosened, I start twisting from the root and then brushing as I go along. And that will help me have more control over the hair because otherwise, especially with Joelle's thick hair, I will never, <laughs> ever finish the detangling process. So I do this around the whole head and yeah, and I keep twisting it up just so the hair is out of the way and so that it won't tangle back up. And I work in sections <laughs> patiently as I go along uh, until the whole head is completed. And this is me fluffing out the roots first before I work on the ends and the body because like I said, that, that blonde situation, I wanna cut it off so much, but they love it and it looks so cute on them. So I'm really divided, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Obviously, I had to speed this video up because, hello, it takes so long for me to detangle their hair because I don't want to hurt them. How you see it is all sped up, so it looks like I'm just ripping his hair off, but I'm not. I'm brushing quite calmly and, and taking bit by bit and taking my time because I know how painful brushing hair can be, so I, I don't, I try to avoid as much pain as possible, but yeah, I had to speed it up for the sake of the video. And I feel like because of these blonde bits, like I just kept brushing and brushing and brushing the hair. And sometimes I felt like I would brush, but to no avail. <laughs> and this is the hair that Joel lost in total. So, I mean, it wasn't that bad and he hadn't done his hair in weeks. And now on to Julian's 3C 4A hair. His hair is completely different to Joelle's in a sense that it is softer in texture. However, it is also a pain to deal with because his hair mats. Joelle's hair doesn't really mat. Joelle's hair tangles, but is easier to detangle, whereas Julian's hair mats. And because of that, I have to patiently finger detangle his hair before I think about introducing a comb or a brush or anything. Otherwise, I would just straight out rip his hair out because his strands are so, um, so much finer than Joelle's. So here I am finger detangling in real life. Just, I know someone had asked me in a previous video um, for me to show how I finger detangle. I isolate these little clusters in the hair. 
I had shown this in a video when I detangled my niece's hair. Her hair texture is somewhat like Julian's, so her hair tangles up um, and mats just like Julian's. Uh, so, you know, you have to be really patient when dealing with this kind of hair and you just have to finger detangle it. Otherwise, you're going to be ripping out strands of hair. Um, but I'm not going to lie, like it was a long day. After a while, I was losing my patience, but you just have to stay firm. Doing Julian's hair, it takes me half of the time that it takes for me to do Joelle's hair just because Julian's hair um, is one fourth of <laughs> Joelle's hair. This is all the, the hair that Julian lost, but. So recently I started washing their hair in the kitchen sink. Um, I saw this from someone on Instagram and I thought, let me try it out. And you know what? It worked out really well because we have uh, a walk-in shower. So we do not have a bathtub, which makes the whole process of doing their hair in the bathroom annoying. First, you waste so much water because you need to keep the warm water on them so that they won't get cold. And also it's just really uncomfortable because they have nowhere to like sit down. They have to sit on the floor, which means my back is hurting by the time we're like halfway through. And it's just, it's just troublesome. Whereas with this process, I find it so much easier for me um, I don't have to bend down so much. I don't have to arch my back too tough. Um, and they're comfortable as well. Julian loves this. <laughs> he loves this. And I'm just using, listen, I'm using some basic shampoo and conditioner. Um, if you'd like, I can link it down below, but you just use whatever you have at home. Joelle's hair when I have to wash his hair I usually uh, release the twists um, before you know get into the washing process just because with his hair being so thick I can't wait until we're washing to release the twists like Julian's hair it's just I don't know it, it works out easier for me this way so I release the twists and then I start washing um, he's a bit big for this sink area but he put his feet up and enjoy the rest of the process is better than being in our in our bathroom look at him look like I, he looks like he's at the spa enjoying his best life i think the only um problem with washing your hair this way is like getting the bottom the back of the hair but i mean you just have to ask your child to turn their head sideways so that you can reach different angles for me it works out because my kids have fade cuts so they don't have hair at the back um, so I, I tend to reach all of their hair and then, you know, the back of the head, we can just wash that in the shower. Whereas if you had like a girl or if your son's hair is a bit fuller, then maybe that might be a bit more problematic. And here I am loving up on them because <laughs> I'm always loving up on them. Why is he looking at me like my breast thing? Jesus. <laughs> this kid so always looks like a hurt hair. puppy. His facial it's expression true. is that of a hurt puppy. And in real life, he'll just be yeah, busting jokes. so long, but... Wait, so I'm a full C. Yeah. Oh, I got it right. And Juju is a is a three three, a. three C. Oh. He's a three C, four A in the front. <laughs> Let me go put your curling cream. With Joelle's hair, I put this curl enhancement um, cream on it from As I Am, just because his hair is so thick and so much. And to avoid tangling, because his hair can tangle quite easily, so I put this cream and, you know, just tie it up um, just to keep the moisture in. And finally, I style their hair. On this day, I was just so tired, so over it, so I did a really quick um, style for the both of them. Because I don't often do their hair like both at the same day. I tend to do one's hair on one day and the other hair and the other one's hair the next day just to give myself a break because Julian's hair is easy to do but Joelle's hair wowzers
I've heard comments like, oh, Julian's hair is so much nicer than Joelle's. And I don't really agree with that. I think they have two completely different hair textures. Whereas Julian's hair is maybe um, finer than Joelle's. Joelle has way more hair than Julian does. And it's just so beautiful. And his hair is also, his hair grows faster and longer than Julian's hair. So I think people tend to idolize that softer strand hair um, because it's more Western looking, but Joelle's hair, in my opinion, is just full bodies. Like, I don't know, it's just really nice. But because it's so thick, usually when I'm doing hairstyles like the one that I'm doing here, I tend to blow dry his hair first just to make sure that the hair lays flat. But because I didn't blow dry it here, um, his hair didn't lay as flat as I wanted it to, but I'm still happy with it. You can see how just healthy and shiny it looks and I just, I love it. I really do. Julian's hair is equally as beautiful, in my opinion. I think they both, I think they both have beautiful hair. But um, Julian's hair, I will say, is definitely easier to do, easier to, to tackle. Um, and how funny is that this guy is watching their, their YouTube videos on his tablet. They, they like love watching themselves on YouTube. Do your kids watch YouTube videos? Maybe I'll leave my kids um, link down below. And if your kids watch YouTube videos, they can watch my kids' videos. <laughs> they would love some more subscribers like live for this youtube world i think if they could they would just edit videos way more than i would um but yeah i just replicated the same hairstyle um for julian as well because it's such a quick style and it took me half of the time on julian than it took me on joelle because obviously julian has less hair than joelle um yeah and it's a simple hairstyle it's still fun and funky because they love funky hairstyles especially when they go to school to go <laughs> to go stunt on their friends at school and um yeah this is it um so this was a, a sunday a very productive sunday for me i was tired by the end of it all how do you do wash day at your house is it um, as straightforward as this or do you separate in different days um child when i tell you i couldn't do anything with myself the next day but i still had to go to work man i was struggling <laughs> but at least it's done and they can stay like this for two or three weeks even um and then we we go again Anywho, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions for me, please leave it down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video. Three, Wakanda forever. <laughs>